Good morning, and thank you to everyone for uh, coming out. We are excited to share that it is our 50th We Day. Which, for us, uh, it was pretty funny. I was talking with a reporter when I was mentioning this, and they said, congratulations on 50 years of We Day. Like, no, 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 hold on, hold on. It feels like that some days, but no, 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 50th, 50th. So uh, this year, we have 14 We Day celebrations, or 14 cities, I should say, where we celebrated uh, We Day, which we're very excited about. Uh, and from our humble beginnings in Toronto, where we had one celebration, the first every year we did a We Day, truth be told, we didn't know if anyone was going to show up. Um, we set this rule, you have to do at least one local action or one global action to earn your way in. And we took over, for those of you who might know Toronto, the Rico Coliseum, it's where the Marlies are, uh, the, the Leafs feeder team place. And we hoped maybe a couple thousand, maybe three thousand. Um, and we packed out the raft, it was about eight thousand, so many people we couldn't fit everyone inside. And we realized that there was something really special going on. But all of us here today must see the opportunity to empower, to speak, and connect through another soul with this thread of unity. Um, we had a ton of data we can walk through if you have any questions, but everything from um, you know, increased engagement levels in schools to reducing rates of bullying to students continuing to serve in their communities. My favorite stats of all, um, an independent study was done by a group called Mission Measurement that tracked the students who are alumni 80% of our alumni keep volunteering, 83% keep giving to a charity, and for our friends on Parliament Hill, 79% voted in the last federal election.